So this video is a guide for people struggling to progress, struggling due to a lack of loot, struggling due to enemies being too tough and this is resulting in progress being halted and that world tier bar either not moving or going down. Today guys I will explain everything you need to know and understand about how enemy levels and loot works in this game and what you need to do to be able to compete if you are struggling. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. So after streaming last night, even after posting a few guides to help people, there are still folks out there that seem to be struggling and cannot progress, yet they just want to play the game, have fun and get to that end game but can't because they are stuck. Now I have been there already, within my first couple of streams I was making the very same mistakes people are doing right now and they are easy to do. So this guide is for those people out there who want to play the game as I am, looting, shooting and going up world tiers as soon as they are unlocked. If you are like the few I have seen just bombing through the campaign on a world tier 1, this guide is definitely not for you. Ok so are you struggling with enemies that just feel too powerful, whether this is because you have gone up a world tier or not, there's probably a simple explanation for this. With each world tier enemies are scaled up, from a world tier 5 to 15, enemies gain extra levels over you. A world tier 5, enemies have 2 extra levels on your current level. On a world tier 6, enemies have 3 levels on your current level. On a world tier 7, enemies are 4 levels above you. And enemies on a world tier 8, where I am right now, enemies are 5 levels above you. What this means is, your character class level, which you can see within your inventory screen at the top left, no matter what level that is, the enemy will always have those plus levels on you, depending on that world tier you're on. So if, like me, you're playing on a world tier 8, you're a level 21, enemies will be a level 26, it's as simple as that. Right now as I make this video I'm a world tier 8 which gives the enemies 5 extra levels on me. This means enemies I will encounter will be a level 26 because my level right now is a level 21. It's also important to note, if you are within a middle of a world tier, for instance me right now, I'm about halfway through a world tier 8. If my character level goes up from a level 21 to a level 22, so does the level of the enemies. They gain the extra plus level also. Now with enemies being at that extra level, what can be done for you to compete with them? Well it's quite simple here, you need to earn loot and this is also super important to remember, loot scales exactly the same as the enemies and I mean exactly the same. So playing on a world tier 8, loot will drop at a max of 5 plus levels over your character level. So if your character level like mine is a level 21, loot on a world tier 8 will drop no higher and max out at a level 26 and this will happen until you either level up your character again or go up another world tier, progress on. And this is what people need to understand. If you are playing and fighting against adds uh, that are 3, 4, 5 levels above you, you need to have armour and weapons at that matching level to be efficient and compete. I reached a world tier 8 yesterday and understood this concept instantly and even though my armour was maxed out for that world tier 7, progressing onto a world tier 8, although enemies only went up by one single level, it was easily twice as hard. So what I did is what I recommend you guys do if your gear levels are not that are the same as the enemies you are facing, because that's the important note. All your weapons and armour should be the same level of the enemy you are fighting. If the enemy is a level 15, so should all your weapons and armour. If the enemy is a level 25, so should all your weapons and armour. So the next question is no doubt, how do I earn armour at that level when enemies are just too hard to kill and I ain't getting anywhere? Well this is quite simple too, use one of my chest farms to get that easy loot which will drop at that level you need it to be. The chest farm I will state needs to be done at the highest world tier you have unlocked by the way and what it does is see you gain around 8 chests in little over 3 minutes, each chest dropping loot and having a chance to help you progress. So the chest farm you're seeing in the background now it is within Eagle Peaks, so from the lobby select uh, the story point, go to Eagle Peaks and then select the very bottom mission of speak to Jacob. Once you load in run to this flag and travel to this fast travel point of Bunker Peak. Once here, follow the route I take on screen now. 
If you haven't gotten to Bunker Peak yet, you can use the original OG chess farm from the demo, which by the way, I will link both these guides on these chess farms within the video description. These chess farms, you will grab all of the chests, quick to the lobby, then start the process of selecting the story point again and repeating it. And what you really need to do here is run these until your gear is at that level of the enemy, no matter the world tier you are playing on. I mean, yes, for sure you can get away with one or two pieces, probably being a little lower, but for the most part, you want to make sure that loot is at the same level of the enemy you are going to face. I will add also, although I don't like parting with my materials just yet, that there are vendors within certain areas notified with certain symbols, which do sell gear on the level you will need also, but they do take a ton of materials. So I prefer the chest runs. Now when farming chests and getting that gear, when it does drop on that max level for that world tier you are in, firepower and weapons and armor values on the armor obviously do kind of fluctuate. But as long as armors are all relatively around that same level, you should be fine. And same goes with the weapons. Now what happened with me yesterday was, and this is also important to note, I had a max armor and weapon levels for the current world tier I was playing on. And then I leveled up, my character leveled up from a level 20 to a 21. This in turn meant that enemies also leveled up too. All that armor and weapon I'd farmed from the chest all of a sudden felt a little weaker. So that's very important to note guys. If you're in the middle of a certain world tier, your armor and weapons are on level with the enemy. If you yourself will level up for your earning XP, so will the enemies. But your weapons and armor will stay at the level you got them at. So if you start to struggle or get to a point where you're struggling, it may be worth running the chest farm again. Now, once you have farmed chest people and got that loot, depending on your current level, and even if the armor and weapons you got are not epic, just rares, it's also very important to apply the correct mods to them. You do this via Dr. Zahidi at the camp. Make sure you're using mods which affect and benefit the abilities you are using first and foremost. If you are happy you have enough assistance here, you can apply mods to help weapons and apply an extra damage too. This is important as I know it's early stages of the game, but people think it doesn't matter. It truly does. Mods on gear help a ton. But yeah guys, if you follow the guidance I have given you right now, you will find that those extra leveled enemies, now you are on par with them, ain't all that bad. I mean, no matter what you do guys, when you progress through world tiers, it gets harder, much harder, but never impossible as long as these steps are taken into account. You can also try mixing up those abilities and weapons too. Don't be scared to swap things out once in a while. I mean, yes, I know you get attached to those weapons. I want to use them forever. But right now in these early stages, I guarantee you guys, they are not worth it. But yes, guys, on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope to see you on a stream later today and I will catch you soon.